so yeah, I'm a little quiet now because you know, smudging it takes a couple of minutes, so I can't, you know, fast forward my hand. Alrighty then. Whew. Let's have to do it in a Russian little manner. Now you could probably brighten up the tops. Click on the thing and overlay as usual. And you see, you know, the creases in it. Now you could smudge it up a little bit more or you could use the blur tool. If you just want to. Sometimes I just use the blur tool to blow it down a little bit. You could like blow it down a little bit. That's what I'm doing. It. I'm like toning it down so it won't look that deep. Some people like it looking real deep. Me, I like it looking kind of faded away. And you know, that's wrinkles basically. That's literally how you do wrinkles and creases. Now, you could put them in specific places, like in specific parts of the shirt. Right now, I was just putting them anywhere so you could just, you know, see how they're gonna look. And the one last step you have to do is add another layer, click on white. Now I usually use the paintbrush. You can use the uh, paintbrush or you could use the airbrush. I use the airbrush. And uh, I basically do this. I know it looked like what the heck is she doing, but that's just how I get, you know, that look. <laughs> or, I'm going to hide that, I'm going to add another layer. Or you can do this, click on paintbrush, okay, if you do it like that, Click on garage number. Uh, blah. Garage number. I'm going to try to like, um, put it on 30 or whatever. Or whatever you want, really. I got mine on 50. And of course, overlay. That way you can have like that shiny look to it. You can see like over here is light. And then in the middle is dark. Or, if you don't like that one, if you like the airbrush look, which I just did it sloppy, you could do it more neater than that, but <laughs> I did it pretty sloppy. Basically, you do the same thing, but I don't think you need to gauze and blow it. You can just, you know, and you can see it just looks like, you know, shades of color around it. So, doesn't matter. You can use both if you want. And there you have it. That is my shirt texture with my jeans I hope I went I really really hope I went slow enough and I didn't like distract y'all and I hope I said all the buttons but if not let's go over a brief overview the jeans you add your color you add your, your pattern your scan line you bump the map bump jeans same thing with the top you add your color you add your pattern you bump the map Bomb. Shirt texture. Shirt pattern. You use your gray texture thingy, which I just, you know, I call it the gray look. <laughs> you know, just all you have to do is add any color gray, light gray or dark gray, doesn't matter. Add noise. Add gauze and blur. Overlay that. Over to the clothes. Most of these are just scan lines and... You know, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Play with the buttons. I'm going to have the, um, we're going to save it now and see how it looks. It's probably going to come out looking not that great, but I'm going to save it. Um, I think we use stuff. Put this in customs. Import. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, and a lot of people when they save stuff, make sure you save it under. I'm just gonna give an example. Okay, I have it BS dot JPG, or you can put dot PNG or stuff like that. A lot of people it saves under dot XCF, and then they can't find it. That's because you let it automatically save under that. When you save anything under get, you have to put dot and what you're saving it under. Don't let it. Don't just put save because then they'll save it under some GIMP shit. X C F shit. So anyway, I just wanted to show that. Now we're gonna see how it looks on this little darling. Um, damn, got damn much. Edit. Those are my hair textures. That's how it's gonna die. Sorry. Okay, what am I looking for? Cutoffs. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't even save the other cutoff. Ah, oh, fuck. <clears throat> Hold on. Psst. Hide all this shit. I forgot what about saving a cutoff. Okay, we're gonna save this real quick. Save, save as. Custom stuff. Okay. Edit. Those are cutoffs that I did. And these are actually some that I've sold. I actually made some and sold them. And a lot of people they don't like doing cutoffs, so they um actually buy cutoffs opacity maps, which is nothing wrong with that as long as they're using their own texture. But anyway, I'm gonna put this. This is actually shirts that I've done. But if you're not, we're not using a sleeve on this one, so we're gonna just put that black real quick. Anything that you don't want to use, you put black. Make sure you just put the stuff where you can find it. Save. Here you go. Now, it was not the best. Of course not. But this is like how it will look. You can see the pattern in the shirt where it doesn't just look like red. It actually looks like, you know, a shirt. Guys, you can see the little creases because I don't really like that too my creases to look too deep but you can see a little bit of it same thing with the pants I didn't add pockets or anything but you could basically see the outline of them here and you know the pockets and the side and you know you could add a belt but it does look you know jean like and this is that's literally it <laughs> this is how you do textures and wrinkles and stuff like that I'll try to have the step-by-step -step directions also on my group page which I'm gonna have the link in the info where basically um if you missed a step or if I probably didn't say it I'll have it written down on my group in the tutorial section and that's basically it I really hope this video helped like the other ones and I hope I went slow enough and spoke clear enough um like I said play around with the buttons as long once you know the basic buttons everything else is comes you know not natural but you know play around with it it's not gonna be easy creases and all that stuff the cutouts everything so that's basically it and I hope this helped Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you.